Welcome back to another video gentlemen. Today I want to be talking about why you're not making more money. I learned some incredible lessons from the late Jim Rohn who sadly passed away in 2009 but he had an incredible outlook on life and his lessons till this very day are helping millions of people. Now one thing that I learned from him was you get paid based on the value you bring to the marketplace. You know, a lot of us assume that we only get paid based on the time that we put in. Oh, well, I get paid £10 an hour, 8 hours, that means £80. But the reality is your value to the marketplace is the equivalent to £80. Now, don't take this the wrong way. You might enjoy your job, but the reality is the more valuable you become, the more skillful you become at what you do, the more money you can demand. Which is why I encourage everyone to go out there and find a purpose, find a way for you to maximize your earning potential. I'm not here to, you know, shit on jobs and say that jobs are bad, because I know some of you watching this might be doctors and engineers and credit to you. If you enjoy what you do, brilliant. But if you want to maximize your earning potential, then you have to ensure that you are leveling up your skill set. You know, I observe public speakers. You know, one of my favorite public speakers is Eric Thomas. And he even talks in some of his seminars about how when he first started off, he was charging a small amount of money. I say small, he was charging maybe 10,000 per speaking engagement. And he thought he was doing great. And then he thought, you know what? The more I level up, the better I become, the more money I can demand. Now, for the same amount of time, so maybe an hour or a two hour talk, he gets paid considerably more than he used to 10, 15 years ago for the same amount of time. Still one hour, still two hours, but now he can demand 10, 20 times more than he used to for one hour's work. Why? Because he became more skillful. He became more valuable to the marketplace. And so one of the reasons why you may not be making more money right now is because you're not working on improving yourself. It's easy to show up to a place and sit down for eight hours and make the money. But you can't be mad if you're not making more year after year because you're not really doing much to improve yourself. You're basically sitting at a desk maybe and just, you know, waiting for the hours to go by. It is until you make conscious and intentional effort to improve your skill that you can demand money. Demand more money, shall I say. Okay, so bear that in mind. That might be the first reason. You are simply not improving your value to the marketplace. You are stagnant. You haven't done much to improve yourself in years. And the second reason could be because you simply haven't given yourself enough time to become valuable to the marketplace. And this applies to the younger folks out there. Those of you that are 18, 19, 21, you know, you just simply have to allow time to take place. In that time, of course, do the best that you can to improve your skill. But you can't, for example, start a job at 19 and then be like, why am I not making 100K a year at 20? you got to focus on becoming more skillful, more valuable to the marketplace. So these are just some principles that when I reflected on them, I started to approach money making in a different way. Instead of saying, well, I put this many hours in, I started to think, you know what? I haven't improved my actual skill. I'm just showing up. I'm just sitting there. I'm just looking at the clock thinking, right, how many hours do I have left? So how can I expect more money? I'm not actually taking deliberate action. I'm just chilling. But when I decided, right, I need to improve my speaking skills. When I decided that with trading, I need to actually back test and improve the way that I view the market, improve my trading psychology. When I started to think about ways to improve my skill instead of just sitting there expecting, well, you know, I'm older now, so I guess I should be making more money. All right, you know, where's the money at? Instead of just thinking like that in a very naive way, I started to think, right, what do I need to do to become more valuable to the marketplace? Because 
You can make five, ten times more in the same amount of time. You can. There are people out there that you look you look at them and you're like, how the hell is he making this much? I'm working the same hours as him. He's making 10, 20 times in a year more than I am. Well, he's more valuable to the marketplace. Simple as. Now, when I say more valuable, he just might have found a way to create a product to sell to people. Or he does something more efficiently than you do. Or he's just more competent. That's another thing I want to mention. You actually have to be competent. Okay, you have to be good at what you do. And I talked about the four stages of competence in one of my earlier videos, if you go back. You first start off, you don't know what you don't know, you're very new to something. And then you know the fact that you're not really great and you start working on that. And then eventually you get to the third stage. I describe it in a lot more detail, guys, but you get to the third stage of being consciously competent where you're like, okay, now I'm getting a hang of it. But you're still taking deliberate focused effort and eventually you get to the point where you are unconsciously competent where you're just you just ooze almost effortless you've got it you've got the source you know and you look at some people that are phenomenal what they do and you're like how do they make it look so easy well they're at the final stage of competence they are unconsciously competent where they don't even think about it anymore they're so great because they've practiced for years so to recap guys first things first you're not making more money because a you're not taking deliberate action in improving your value to the marketplace and b you're just not allowing enough time for you to do that you can't plant a seed today and then come back tomorrow and be like hang on a second where's the oak tree where's the apple tree that's very naive thinking it's delusional thinking got to allow time to take its course but remember you have to be competent to demand the money that you want you can't be you can't what does Jim Rohn say he says you can't you know make more money by force you can't be like I demand to make more money no stupid is childish you have to earn that's the word I want you to write down you have to earn the money that you say you want by being competent. For example, I watch football quite a lot. And a lot of players, you can see that they have potential. But the thing that's holding them back is they think they're much better than they actually are. You know, they're very cocky. They're all about the Instagram flashy lifestyle. And then you find another player who's just 40 goals a season for almost 20 years. Messi and Ronaldo. Just phenomenally great at what they do. And then you've got a player who's not as great as them. Flashy, thinks he's so good. But he hasn't earned the reputation that he's given to himself. The title that he's given to himself. Players like Ronaldo and Messi can afford, if they want to be, to call themselves the greatest. Why? Because they've got numbers to back that up. So you can't be like, well, I should be making six figures. Really? What makes you think that? What gives you the arrogance? To assume that you should be making six figures. No, you earn your six figures by being good. And if you're not good, well, then you don't deserve six figures. And that's a lesson to me as well. If I'm not competent enough, I don't deserve six figures. I don't deserve seven figures. I have to actually be good. <laughs> Fucking hell, we live in a world right now where they're promoting this whole, you know, passive, you don't have to do any work and you'll make six figures. No, you have to be good at something. Forget this lazy approach to thing. Oh, hands free. You know, they're all scams. Focus on being good, even if it takes you time. When you get good at something, you're basically a walking ATM. You can print money wherever you go because you're skillful. And you can go into any room and demand any check. Why? Because you're so great now that it's almost a guarantee everywhere you go. Hey, you know what? That motherfucker is one of the best in the world at what he does. Let's write him a check. There is no need to even sell hard and be like, yeah, so I do this, I do that. The market gives you the results that you want. It gives you the referrals that you want. If you're so great, people are gonna to wanna to do business with you because of your reputation. You don't have to stand there and sell yourself as much as you used to in the very beginning when you were just starting off. Why? Because now you've got the results to back it up. To back it up, sorry, you're competent now. 
hope this video makes sense guys I hope you start viewing money in a different light take a step back and observe yourself you've got to have some self-awareness and understand okay I'm at this point right now I can't be upset about the money I'm making because I'm not taking conscious effort in improving my value to the marketplace so I need to go back to the drawing board focus on creating as much value as possible and then the money comes with it and that's what I'm doing to this very day I always focus on bringing as much value to the marketplace as I can I'm not going to cry about how much money I'm making if I'm not taking conscious effort to improve myself and improve the quality of the work that I do. Hope this video helps, gentlemen. Make sure you like and subscribe down below and I'll catch you guys in the next video.